Hello, welcome back. Uh, you're still here, which is a good sign. Uh, this video, we're going to look at drawing rectangles. Ooh. Um, we're going to add rounded corners to the edges. We'll draw ellipses and a few of the shortcuts kind of will be thrown in here for navigation as well. So don't skip along if you think you can draw a rectangle with the best of them. Um, there's a few kind of like uh, navigation shortcuts that I'll show you throughout. All right, let's jump in. Okay, to draw a rectangle, not surprisingly, uh, you hit the rectangle tool. Okay, and then you just drag it out. Hey, okay, so I'm gonna, uh, uh, often when you're doing a wireframe, you won't actually put the images in. I'm just putting a placeholder for the images. In this case, it's gonna be a box. Okay, and it's gonna bring us to layer ordering because I've drawn a box and by default, all the boxes have a white fill and this kind of like gray border. Okay, so you can turn the fill off to see the text, but what we wanna learn is how to play with a layer order. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my selection tool Okay, and I want to move it behind the text. And there's about a thousand ways of doing it. So I'm going to show you the common ways and just know that throughout this course, I'm going to give you the either the most appropriate at your level or the most common way. There's going to be four or five other ways of doing things in these bits of software. Um, so if you do discover some other way and you're like, oh, why haven't I, you know, why didn't Dan show me that way? Mm, my bad. <laughs> I'm going to try and give you the best way and or the way that it's appropriate at this level of the course. And we'll get more advanced as we go. So I want to move this to the back. Um, probably the easiest way is to right click it and say, send to back, okay? And it's behind this text. I'm going to show you a couple of other ways. Just get us um, working and doing stuff in XD. So I'm going to undo. So what you can do as well is there's the long format way. Uh, up here, I can go to um, object, I think it is, and then go to arrange and send it back. Okay, so it's the same thing, does the same job. Um, the other way, as I'm going to undo, is over here in my layers panel. You can see there's my home page. Okay, uh, that's the page that I'm working on here. You can see there's a rectangle, and he's on top of my product shot. So if I click, hold, and drag him underneath my product shot, you ready? <gasps> Look at that. It's underneath. Kind of like Photoshop works. And the way that I always use is a shortcut way. So I'm going to undo that. Is I select it, and you can kind of tell the shortcuts, right? If I right click, you see center back. There he is. There. So anything you're using quite often, get, you'll get to know, like, I never use the hide enough to know the shortcut is. I only need to right click it, but I use send it back all the time and send to front. Okay, so in my case, this hieroglyphics here is shift, command, and the square bracket. And that's the kind of square bracket down by your P key. On a PC, it'll be, it'll be control, shift, square bracket. Okay, so that's what I do. I end up just, uh, let's undo that. Um, yeah, command, shift, square bracket. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. I'm using that square key. All right, so lots of ways of doing the same thing. Um, so let's get that in there. Let's get this. You can align things officially, but can you see it really just wants to be in the middle? It's really handy that way. But you can align them properly. So you select both of them and say over here, align center, align this way. <laughs> it doesn't work if it's already there. So you can see I can align these guys to the center. So up to you, but you will find that actually it's pretty sweet in Adobe XD. It just wants to find the middle of everything without asking. Okay, next up, rounded corners. Uh, click on, I'm using my selection tool, clicking on this box. And um, you might have to zoom in because we won't be able to see these. If you zoom far out, those little um, circles get, oh, they're still there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they get harder if it's a really small object on the page. So I'm zooming up in enough to see these things. These, if I click, hold, and drag them, are the rounded corners. Look at that. Okay, so you can decide. You can manually type them in. So I'm going to undo that. You can over here. Where is it? <laughs> see what I was doing there? I was dragging this and seeing where it was in the properties panel. There it is. <laughs> so if you need it to be exact, you know, you're using 15, you can just type it in, hit enter and it will be 15 for all of them. Okay, it's good when you wanna match them across different documents. Uh, another thing you can do, just because it's interesting, uh, if you hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, and click and drag one of them, you can click and drag one of them at a time. Okay, I can decide that this one's this one. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna reset them all back to zero. You can kind of see here, it's broken it down into different, so that one's set to 29. Watch that. Well, let's move it over here so we can edit it nicely. Watch this. If I drag this, can you see? Oh, doing all of them. Hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC. Can you see that's just affecting this? So uh, it kind of goes around top left, top right, bottom right, <laughs> bottom left. I can do that. Okay. So uh, yeah. So that's that. And to reset it, I'm going to go back to all and say you're all at zero. Thank you very much. Do I want rounded corners at this stage? I do. I want a little bit. Just a little hint there. All right, uh, I want 
two of these for the buttons. So instead of like drawing out a rectangle and then typing in five afterwards, I'm gonna use that holding the option key, hold key on a PC, just so that we're consistent. You see, even when I resize it, using my selection tool and just dragging one of the corners, it still sticks to that five. It doesn't kind of like scale with it. Okay, so I'm doing a lot of my like sweet duplication skills. Now in this case, are they in the center? Probably, let's check. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Yep, there you go. <laughs> All right, so rounded corners. Uh, let's look at one last one, the circle, which is not called in a circle, it's called an ellipse. So I'm gonna select all of this using my selection tool and just move you down so I've got a bit of space. And I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool, okay, E for ellipse. And it's gonna bring me uh, a point where if I click and drag, you get an oval or an ellipse. Okay, if you want it to be a perfect circle, you hold down the shift key while you're dragging, okay? And it will lock in the height and width. That's the same for the rectangle tool. R for the rectangle tool, hold down shift, perfect square. Okay, so I've got a perfect circle. I need it to move there. I want it to kind of be about there. I want a little plus symbol in it. We're not going to draw a plus, we're going to just type a plus. So type tool, plus, that's, that's clearly my uh, uh, equal sign. And I'm going to pick an appropriate weight for it. There we go. And size wise, maybe you can drag the bottom of it. It seems weird, but you actually do use that little plus thing quite, a, you know, that little white dot um, quite a lot. So that, I think that's a good weight. Let we go there. Oh, another good point is because it is quite snap happy, you're like, ah, stop snapping to everything. You can get it close and then use it with your selection tool. Just use your arrow keys. So down on your keyboard, you've got the up, down, left, right, just up, down, left, right it and get it close enough. All right, I'm gonna zoom all the way out and I kind of wasn't gonna do shortcuts. We're just gonna introduce them. I'll do them loads so you remember them. If you're like, man, that guy's freaking me out with the shortcuts. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll just keep saying them loads. They'll eventually get in your brain. Um, really handy one to go all the way out. There's a, there's a couple of shortcuts. So command one, okay, goes to 100%. Command two, I never use, goes to 200%. Command zero, Okay, holding down command on a Mac, it's control on a PC, and hit zero, shows you everything, which is probably the most handy one. So command one and command zero, I use a load because it kind of gets you at a kind of a normal, if you're in really tight in here, okay, working on something, you can go command zero or command one to kind of come out to 100%, uh, or command zero to see everything. Even if you've got like one big crazy, you know, like we're gonna have some relative uh, organization in this course. It would be very common though, <laughs> as a designer, to have all sorts of stuff going on all over the place, right? I'm copying and pasting these. You end up with junk everywhere. So if I'm over here, zoom in the wrong bit. Okay, if I hit Command or Control on a PC, zero, can you see it shows me everything and it's just super handy. Goodbye, all those upwards and Command zero again. There you go. That's a handy one. A little bit more navigation for you. All right, that's it. We've drawn a couple of rectangles. We draw a circle. All right, excitement over. Let's get on to the next video. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course. There'll be a link in the description. It's called Adobe XD Essentials. There'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.